A work of art on its own, it's what's inside this 46-foot catamaran that sets it apart from the rest. Built just over three years ago by her husband Drew, not only is it home for local artist Joe Wooler, it's the birthplace of her floating art gallery concept. You know, he's such a creative person too, so together through the process of building the boat, we had that in our mind. A boat builder by trade, it's Drew that also inspired Jo to use stainless steel as her signature medium. One day I was mucking around with these um, bits of stainless steel, making a fish and just kind of, you know, doing things creatively like I do, not even imagining that it would end up where it's gone. And that's on a global scale. I've had exhibitions in uh, New York and I have my work in Dubai, in an art gallery in Dubai, and around galleries in Australia as well, and also in Florida. Yesterday was a chance for locals to check out Joe's internationally acclaimed work, including this stunning lionfish, which is featured in the National Maritime Museum in Paris. It's the feature piece of her collection, which is inspired by a lifetime on the sea. It's probably the passion in my life is the sea, you know, like living on the sea, diving and anything to do with the sea, you know, to me it's, if I could breathe underwater I'd be in heaven. But recent travel to Europe, the States and the Middle East has given the Sydney-born artist a new direction for her work. New York, New York is the first piece in a collection she describes as shaped and abstract. You know, so it's something that people can really run away with you know, and stand in front of and, and see lots of different things and get out of it what they want. All of Jo's work can be accessed on her website. Sarah Owens, Win News.